Sienna, Mia and Mum are competing to see who can make the best pancakes for a chance to win the epic mystery prize. <laughs> it's almost pancake day so we thought this would be really fun so let's see what they've got planned. So of course I'm not going to be making any old pancakes, I'm going to be making love heart shaped ones with all different pink toppings. So I was looking on Pinterest and I saw this picture Aww. of little teddy bear pancakes and they're literally so cute and it's chocolate and banana flavoured so I'm definitely going to be trying to make these today. I am obsessed with a match of this fam so I thought of making some Japanese inspired pancakes and I wanted to include a match in this recipe. Three, two, one, get baking! We're not baking! <laughs> Three, two, Flipping. one, get pancaking! Get flipping! Get right, go flipping mental! Yes! Go flipping Any mental. excuse to go flipping mental for this fam. Yeah. got the flipping flippers. I don't know why they're getting their frying pans out because you actually need to make the pancake batter first. I need a recipe! I'm winging it. She's, she needs a recipe as well, but I've got a recipe and it's this wise mum's brain of mine. I really need to find all of my ingredients, but I'm not tall enough and I feel like mum's already started. Right, I need sugar. First dibs, I've got the blender because I'll be blending my ingredients up. <laughs> well, I don't even need the blender, I don't think. You're dry. <laughs> but I basically haven't got a recipe, but I really want to press you and you fish back. So, for the main ingredient of my batter to make it gluten free, I'm going to be using oats, but to turn it into an oat flour because these are the rolled oats, so they're like the, look, they're all chunky, chunky. I just realized something. I think the blender's still wet from breakfast. Oh no. Well, I've got all my, almost all my ingredients. I need more. Wait, baking powder. Salt. Uh, I found salt. I'm gonna have to do my usual. <laughs> just getting my saucepan out. By the way, I've got the best saucepan in the world. I feel like this costs over 100 pounds. It's a chef's saucepan. They're using- It's a frying pan. <laughs> Vanilla sap and sugar. This time, if you wanted to know how to turn oats into a gluten free oat flour, put them in a preferably a dry blender and then ready? Voila! Right, I'm so excited. The only thing is though, I was looking at the picture and I feel like how I originally planned to make it is a bit different to the picture, so I'm not sure how to execute the shape of my pancakes. I've got that all sorted. Okay, now I need milk. I still haven't got my ingredients yet. I'm gonna yeah. mash up my banana because I want my pancakes to be super banana-y. Is she already like getting her oil ready so she can start like yeah. Pancake. Right, so I really wanted to make these healthy gluten-free ones. If any of you are wondering how this is going to taste delicious, they're going to come out amazing. So I'm going to be adding in baking powder. That's what's going to make them rise and fluffy because not only are they gluten-free, they're vegan because obviously we're a vegan family. So this is great for when you haven't got eggs in it. Then I'm going to add in soya milk. Then I'm going to add a tiny bit of sugar in, but not too much because the toppings is what's going to give it all the sweetness. I've added in a tiny bit of pink Himalayan salt, but then I'm going to be adding in the... I'm breaking it. I'm um, Daddy Fizz and um, Fizz Fam. You know I said about matcha being the main ingredient. Well, matcha? <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? I hope you don't mind Daddy Fizz, but I'm going to be using your Grade AA Organic Ceremonial Matcha. I know it's really expensive, but I want these to come out really good. This is like gold dust. This is like, I don't know how much it is a tin, but look. The greener and purer the matcha is, the sweeter it tastes. So the highest grade ones are really expensive. Some of these can be like, what, 50 pounds a tin. This is actually not the highest grade. But sorry, I know it's your precious matcha, sorry. That's fine, I've already had three today. <laughs> but I know you're thinking don't waste it, especially when you're winging it with the recipe, but these are gonna come out so good and I'm gonna win, girls. No, you're not. No, you're Mine not. are gonna be too cute. They have to win. Mine are gonna be just amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so scared that I'm wasting this, sorry. That is a lot of matcha. You can definitely have two matcha of matcha. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah that doesn't work, does it? Sorry. Oh, I need someone's help. No, oh, Sienna knows how you do it. You squeeze it, don't you, Sienna? Yeah! Go on, Sienna. <laughs> Careful, though. <laughs> what was the squeal? Thank you. Oh, you kind of did. Oh, well, I did oh, that. Yeah. Where's the sugar gone? You said you had it now. I've got it here. I'm now using it right oh. now. I need two tablespoons of it and then you can have it. 
Ooh, I need one. I think we've all learned our lesson from the previous challenges to be nice to each other. Oh yeah, yeah we have. <laughs> Especially you. And it's not because we think we should be nice to each other to be kind, it's so that we really forget. I mean, you can have yeah. I know, I've got my own thing, so oh, you can okay. keep that. Now I need to add some salt, except I couldn't find the fine salt. This is really thick salt, so I feel like I want to go back and try and find the fine oh, salt. I've got some fine I was looking for that. Salt. You have all the ingredients, thank you. Right, fine salt, I need one quarter of a teaspoon. Also, because it might taste a bit earthy because of the matcha powder in it, I'm actually gonna add in a bit of vanilla bean paste, which will really give it some creamy sweetness. But like I said, the actual sugary sweetness will come from all of the drizzle I'm gonna make. But I do still want the batter of the pancakes to taste really good as they're the main feature. They're probably all hoping that theirs taste the best, but I'm actually gonna be judging them on taste appearance and creativity so they're going to need to tick all three boxes to be in with a chance for winning that mystery prize right i need to add oil now except our coconut oil is solid so i feel like i need to melt it first but i noticed how we've only got three firing pans except for one of them is tiny do you need a big one or do you just like I need kind of a big one. Okay, oh, I can use it's a fine. No, one. I'll use the no, small I think one. I want, I want to no, make I small kinda, pancakes. No, I kind of want to make small pancakes. No, you can have like the chef's okay. frying pan. Where do you want But that takes ages to heat up. No, it okay, doesn't. ready? <laughs> wow, paper, scissors, shoot! So you won. Okay. What do you want? I want the small one. Okay, fine. Thank you. I'm going to use coconut oil because it's the healthiest oil and it's like the best for heating up, like it doesn't go bad when you heat it up on high temperatures. But I need two tablespoons. And it tastes good as well. It, it does taste good. And I feel like it's gonna go really nicely with the flavor of my pancake. So I'm just gonna heat that up because if it's more than what I need, I can use it later on. I need the milk now and then my batter will be done. Then all I have to do is just fry them, which I've never done before in my whole life. So I'm kind of nervous. Kind of struggling. I have my liquid ingredients all mixed up now. I need to do my dry ingredients. So that's flour, baking powder. But I need your little thing, Sienna. Well, I'll add the baking powder in first. Your... No, I'm done with it. You can yeah. have it. Thank you. All I need to do is put the oil in the pan and then start frying them. Take two. I've added more soy milk in. Pretty thick, but that's exactly how I want it to be. Right, I've got the flour. A little bit more came out than was meant to, so I hope that's okay. It just means I have more batter, which means I potentially might have to make like more batches. I don't know, because I feel like recipes never give enough, especially for what I want to do. I want to make, you know, a decent amount of pancakes. Okay, I'm now going to cook them. I actually, there's a video with my recipe, so I just watched it to see how thick the batter should be and it's white so now i just need to heat the oil up but the thing is i can't use this side of the oven because it's like the weird what is this part mum can i use it yeah you can oh okay you can use it look. and it just senses how big the pan is oh is that it oh, yeah. okay at least that's what i think it does oh, <laughs> i've never used it i know no one's ever used this bit before because it's like the weird bit i just need to heat the oil up i'm using this to measure out all I could find. But it does actually have 150 yeah, on it. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm already starting now. <laughs> Wax just the same. Taste right. test. Just add the milk. That looks like a pond. Really sweet. So it's all over my mouth. That was such a big spoonful for a taste test. Why is it doing that? Is it because it's heating up? What? I'm so confused. Why has mine got turned off? You haven't off? turned it on. Why has mine got turned off? But I, I turned mine on. No, it's so I've turned mine on. I literally no, went. No, no, no. But listen, I turned mine on on four and it kept on going four, four, in and out, and then it's gone to zero. So it wasn't sensing a pan on there. Oh, are they the right type of pans? Are they like induction pans or no? What are induction pans? And why? Because okay. it's an induction hob. You have to have induction you pans. Whatever pans you want on it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Try it again, Sienna. And now mine's doing that. I'm so confused. Well, it's a good day to have the big pan, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're flashing because it's not registering a pan being on there. I'm yeah. sure I said these for induction though, when I bought them. Try on Mia's one, and if Mia stays on, then you know that's what's happening. I'm frying, I honestly do. I've, I've spent ages trying to find these sauce pans. Frying pans. pans. <laughs> but is Mia's one flashing? No. no. Yeah, so your pans don't work on there. Okay, I'm going to have to use this one then. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. You're not ready, yeah, are you? Uh, 
I do feel a bit bad for Mum and Sienna, the fact that their sauce pads aren't working, but I feel like it's a bit unfair that Mum has just gone and taken my frying pan and now I have to watch her cook her pancakes and I can't even cook mine. And I'm a bit worried about how this like shape is gonna go. So I feel like I need enough time to be able to make lots of different experiment with like lots of different shapes and now she's gone and taken my frying pan. We did not anticipate that we would only have one frying pan. I'm, I'm very sorry about this. It's got way too much oil now though. It really yeah. has like so it's similar similar oil. Never so, like, so, so, so I know so I need more. What I've done in the past when making pancakes to make like equal ones or the right size, I use like a cup measuring spoon. So I think I'm gonna probably use maybe a half a cup or maybe a third of a cup. I might have a look. Mm, Just scoop it out, pop it in, and then it's like the perfect size each time. That is a good little tip. And I remember mum saying about that before and I forgot about it, but now she just reminds me about it, so I knew about it all along. I can't believe I messed up with the frying pans for fam. I feel so embarrassed. And at the same time, it's really, really annoying because now we have to share one frying pan. It's meant to be a pancake challenge where we're all flipping pancakes together, but now we're flipping sharing one frying pan. I'm actually fine that mum's going first because I can like learn from your mistakes. <laughs> that is a really good point. I'm officially the first person in making the pancakes. Right, so my mixture looks quite thick and I've always found that the thicker is the better because if not, it just all splurges out it into one lumpy. hard to manage. Yeah, Boy. really lumpy. When you make it thicker, it actually stops it from all spreading mm. out unless you want to make pancakes which are as thick as the frying pan. But if you want small, like little stackable ones, I always find American the thicker the better. Style. Yeah, mm. American. Yeah. I know it looks gross, but these are gonna taste amazing for this fan. And by putting bicarbonate of soda, no, what was it? By putting baking powder in, it creates all bubbles, which makes it lift up from the bottom of the pan and then it doesn't stick and burn. Look at the bubbles forming. I love it, I love bubbles. Oh. Okay, I will have to admit that does actually look pretty good. It Ooh. doesn't look like much. I know, you don't want to flip it before. You, this is the bit where you've got to have skill. You don't want to like move it or flip it before it's ready. If not, it will just break. But then you don't need it too long because it can stick and burn. I told you this frying pan was worth it, family. Yeah. I told you it wasn't a mistake. This frying pan can pass down for generations. Your okay. great grandchildren can be using this frying pan. It's an investment. Okay. But at least we have it though, because if we only had these two, then um, I don't know what we'd do. We'd all be laying on the floor crying. That's why the oil just turned green. Oh, oh no, I do, but they're meant to look green and it's going browny colour. I didn't foresee that if I cooked the pancakes, they might turn from a lovely green colour to brown, so I need to be really, really careful and make sure I don't overcook them, and then they can keep that lovely bright green colour, which is the whole point of why I added match in them in the first place. I've sussed it. Don't put it cooking for too long on one side, if that makes sense. And I'm now going to keep my pancakes warm in the oven, which I've already preheated. You guys can use it as well. Oh, one done! I'm now going to uh, bake, I fry, I'm now going to fry one of mine and I just, but I'm scared. I think, it's yeah, turn that's what it I was going to say. It would be really good if we could take it in turns, but mum's making the saucepan green. I'm just going to go with it for this first one. This one is going to be the tester one. Yeah, let's see if mum's burning right. the oil. The recipe <laughs> said two tablespoons, so. But I don't know if I should do it in one go. Take right. that out. Your pancake mixture does look quite liquidy. Yeah. Okay, I'm scared. Oh, Sienna, you didn't move the oil oh, around, so now it's it. just like in the middle, there's no oh, oil. No. I just moved the oil around a bit okay, like that. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, no, it doesn't look too bad at the moment. I mean, it looks absolutely, it might just pop it, but if I can make it a bit bigger. This is scary. I didn't know if I should have that anymore. Oh, wow. It mm -hmm. looks like a cute little crushed frog on the road. <laughs> Why does it look green? The, the edges. Oh no. Maybe I should just cook all of mine. I think so. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Wow, that looks so bubbly though, Sienna. I think it might be better if I cook mine all in one go, then you can cook yours in one go, then you're practicing I don't know if going along. Yeah, I don't. Rather than we keep breaking it up. I don't yeah. know if it's to like move it now. Do you think I should? Yeah, but oh, maybe I you should know. use your one because my one's all green, yeah. isn't it? Ooh, it's spinning. Okay. Oh, do you want help? Ooh, oh, that's pretty good. Oh. I do see what mum means about the frog. I'm seeing the frog too. 
<laughs> you got to squish it down now, I think. It looks edible, at least. Yeah. Okay, Fizz fam, you saw how bad that last pancake was. But you may be wondering how I'm going to make a heart shape. I've actually got heart-shaped cookie cutters. So after I make each pancake, I'm going to put the cookie cutter and like cut it out into a heart shape. Tea down, a third one. I'm actually going to try mine because I'm worried that my pancakes aren't sweet enough. So, oh, it feels very crusty. It's very Can I try a little bit? Yeah. Go on. I'll give Can you I a try some of these? It looks really yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Very oily. So disgusting. It tastes like donuts you get at the beach. It's very mm. oily. I think there's too much oil in the pan. It's like soaking. Like It's like it's been deep fried. And guess what dad hates? I know. Stuff. Yeah. Right, okay. I mean, I mean, no wonder why it tastes like it's been deep fried when you're putting like five tablespoons of oil in for every pancake. That's quite it deep fried. It's too much. But in terms of the taste, it's actually good mm. sweetness because I was worried that it was going to taste not no, sweet but enough. But guys, I'm going to tell you what my the secret of my pancakes. They're going to be heart shaped and I've got heart shaped cookie cutters. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, I love it. Very good plan. <laughs> no, because my pancakes are going to be shaped as well, except I don't have a cutter. Mine looks like a really wrinkled up kneecap. <laughs> yeah. No, it looks like the Grinch's kneecap. Yeah. yeah. You're making Grinch pancakes. It's now I can't go and see the Grinch, and it's really like making me feel really disappointed. The Grinch. All you need is like red toppings. This is going to have to be the chef's one. You know oh. when the chef plays one. That's going to be. Yeah, exactly. That, that's what I've done with this. I can't believe they said that my pancakes look like the Grinch. I'm feeling really worried now because I had this idea of these beautiful pancakes, and now they are really starting to look ugly. Mum has now finished, so me and Sienna can actually take it in turns and yes. make a pancake. We're going to go sabotage. sabotage. <laughs> Other. Who wants to go first? Should we do rock, paper, uh, scissors? Okay, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I can't take off the I go first. Right, hopefully this one comes out all right, and I want it to be big enough for me to be able to cut it with these little heart cutters. They are so cute. I want to use the biggest one because I feel like it will look more pancakey. Oh, oh, it's going flat. Oh no. Yeah, that's the thing. If you have a uh, too liquidy. Yeah. Doesn't it need to be higher on seven or something? Yeah, we can put it a bit higher. It needs to be like frying, you're right. Yeah, I should add it. more, no. No, I think if it's flat, so it's better for you because you want them to be big enough. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. wider. Wait, let's... But you have to make sure it's like properly cooked. Yeah, it's going to be. It. It's going to be the right size. Mm -hmm. I need a spatula. So I'm nervous about this and I have to make sure they come out good and I'm going to make a big, nice stack. Why is it so bubbly? Why? No, no, that's good. Uh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's Ooh, okay, it's moving, it's moving. I feel so like crumpet. I know, that's what I'm thinking. What is it? Careful. Ah! We did it. Whoa! We need to get the oil yes. moving around. I'm so happy. We're trying to do it with less oil. Ah! Right, this is going to be my first pan. Ooh, I realized it's getting a bit too hot in the pan, so I turned it down. Oh no. Yeah, oh no. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Go away. Is everything all right? Yeah. yeah. If you look at the other, mine came out so good. My first one. Oh, what? That's perfect. I know. Me. I'm not even no, but I'm actually one. kind of disappointed because I made it a perfect circle, but then I'm gonna ruin it by putting a heart on it. But it's okay. I know I need perfect circles. For yeah. Me. Mia, we believe in you. Let's support her. Yeah, no. I feel like that's, that's not gonna help. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. You so much do that. Oh, no, that's good. Yeah. Sorry. It's all right. Um, I just need to remember. Like, I was trying good. to melt the oil too quick, so I turned it up, and then now it's like messed up. This is your first one, though. Yeah, it's my first one. Yeah, exactly. It's your tester. Everybody knows that the first one is the one you end up eating. <laughs> okay, that was a failure. It's not even cooked in the middle. Oh. I need to get this off for you because this is going to be sticking Please. and burning. You need to move no. it. Me, you just left it's it on. Well, I was in the middle of putting it in. What are you on about? I'm not. No. An octopus. Okay, hashtag Moody Mia. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Go let some calm down time. <laughs> I can't believe my first pancake has absolutely failed and everyone else has like done really well so far. I haven't even got to the bit of trying to shape them. It fell on the floor, it's burnt on the outside, not cooked in the middle. This literally couldn't get any worse. Take two, I really hope this one comes out well because I just don't know if I have enough batter to be making all these mistakes. Uh, how many um, pancakes did your recipe say? I don't know, I didn't look. Uh, but I'm making different, I'm not making normal pancakes. Mm. 
Mm. So like, Please tell us what you're making. I okay. said. Okay, I'm making teddy bear shaped pancakes. So I'm gonna try and make Aww. ones. Well, I was hoping to try and make two. Ones where it's like actually a teddy bear. And then also like ones where it's just a big circle and then I make two little circle pancakes. I feel like yeah, that's probably that'd be easier. Really cute. Probably not gonna um, fail. I actually have a I little this secret hot? extra no. bit to my toppings, which Ooh. I haven't told anyone about. Apart from you, this fam. I feel like this isn't hot enough now because it's not cooking them, but before, last time I made Maybe. the pancake, it was too hot and then that's why it burned like that. I don't know. Oh, oh no. I'm really worried. It's like stuck in the middle. Oh. It's gonna wrinkly. No, it's literally burnt on the bottom. No, 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 it's all right, it's all right. Okay. It looks brown, I think, and like good Ready? brown. Moment of truth. Time, I, we need to copy what mum did and put more oil. See, it looks really good. Oh, yeah, okay. it does look good. Oh, it looks like a really nice, like classic pancake, oh, yeah, except for wrinkles. I feel like Aww. I'm gonna make just two little ones for the ears, and then keep making more and more, and then I can experiment and see which That's ones I end so up using. Cute, so I'm just gonna yeah. make this for now. Tiny pancakes. Okay, I run out of batter. I feel like I'm not enjoying pancakes anymore. Something about my batter just makes it really stick. I don't know what it is. Fizz fam, I'm really like, it's not going well for me, is it? Two years. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be a professional cameraman, but like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me pancake, Dad. I'm gonna win. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now we have to go and wash it up again, and then it's. So gonna... so far, Mia's probably tried to make about six pancakes. I think. Have you got one? <laughs> Why is it foamy that like you got washing up liquid in there? Yours was foamy. I don't know why. It goes Why is it that foamy though? Looks like the sea. I don't know what is going on with Mia's batter, guys, but she has had about 95% of her pancakes have ended up in the bin so far. The kitchen is like thick with smoke all in the air. However, one thing that hasn't happened, no one has actually flipped a pancake yet, like properly. Isn't that all the fun of pancakes? Like you toss the pancake, so hopefully someone still does that. Everything's fine. <laughs> We all know he's going to be winning the mystery prize. Not great pancakes. Hey, Sienna. That actually does look perfect. It's like perfect creamy. Why are every effect. single one oh, circle? Perfect. Wow, that's a really good batter recipe. Ironically, we actually got our batter recipe from the same place. BBC Good Food, isn't it? But mine's got banana in it. And which I wanted intentionally to make them taste like bananas. Yes, finally, now it's time to do the decorating. I am so excited for this bit. I know everyone's gonna find it weird, but I know this is gonna be the thing that is gonna make me win. Wow, Darren, and oh, this is the best part of this part. It's time for the best bit, the decorating. So I've got white chocolate raspberries, pink and white marshmallows, and then little pink candy kittens. I'm so excited for this. It's gonna look amazing and very pink. And look at the bowl I have. It's actually so fitting. So I'm very excited. Valentine's pancakes. What's Everyone that? else has massive stacks of pancakes. Look how many pancakes I ended up making. Oh, they're cute. I actually feel oh, so dude, bad for I you. I wish your big one was bigger. Oh, no, it's okay. Normally, Mia, you are really creative and you are really it's good. It's the batter. I swear it's the batter. It just wasn't working. I'm really surprised. Like, you are normally really amazing at these things. And like, remember Swiss roll, how adventurous you were and how good it came yeah. out in the end. It, this one just fell. Careful what you're doing with that. No, no, I don't know, Mia. Mine just failed. But it's okay, I'm gonna really put effort into this decorational part. Me too. Oh, there we go. You're putting miso on your pancake. Actually, no, I'm putting miso on my pancake. Okay, miso, miso, whatever it is, that is disgusting. No, it's not. Miso fat. is like savory for stew and soup. It's like a sauce that they use in Japan for Japanese savory food. Shh. I actually got inspired for this fan for when I ate out at this restaurant called Holy Carrot and one of the sponge cakes, one of the desserts I had was a sweet miso sponge cake and I've been inspired by them and mine is going to be so Japanese-y. But I'm a bit concerned because normally white miso is normally more whiter in colour so that bit is off-putting but look, look, it's going to blend up really well with the maple syrup so... It's going to be I disgusting, I actually feel like... I'm for you. They're yeah, me too. It. You're gonna ruin like, it. They're mine's like, accidentally been ruined. They were gonna be good, but I, like, I honestly, I thought you were joking. I thought you were gonna prank us. And creativity. Sauce. We're getting judged from creativity, and I feel like I'm being really creative. Well, I'm being creative. I. Uh, this is you're getting judged on flavour. This is yeah. a whole new thing. 
seen that no one's ever thought of before. Well, apart from the heart pancakes, but not combining them both. By the way, you're also getting judged on if anybody actually flipped the pancake and nobody did. Flip it, why didn't you tell us that? For the flip. Okay, I'm now trying to scrape away like the, the leftover bits, which I get to eat, which is pretty good. And then the moment of truth. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Oh, apart from that bit, but that, that's fine. It could be the bottom of the stack, but look how good that looks so far. It's so cute. Millennial. Oh, and guys, how do you do it? Come on. Gen Z. So it's found, comment down below. Do you do millennial heart or do you do the weird and really awkward to do Gen Z? No, yeah, it's not. So how is that awkward? awkward? That's more difficult. No, it's just awkward for but you because you don't know how to do it. It looks cuter though. That one looks really <laughs> weird. It doesn't. That one looks better. Yours is all robotic and looks digital. Mine looks heartfelt and just round. Yours looks like. <laughs> Yours looks like, what are those, weird, those monkeys with the long fingers what go in trees? Yeah. <laughs> right, Fishram, if you want to know, if you want some inspiration for Pancake Day, I have put inside mine to make, because obviously the miso, actually miso is naturally a little bit sweet, but it's quite salty, and if you don't know what this is made out of, it's actually made out of fermented soya beans out of rice. It's really, really good, and it's also gluten-free. And I've added in some maple syrup, because with pancakes, you've got to have maple syrup. I've also added another sweetener, agave syrup as well, to give it lots of different levels of sweetness, and then also to bring up the sweetness. So I've got vanilla bean paste in there. Not that I'm trying to mask the flavour of the miso. The miso is going to add a delicious sort of flavour. But then also to thicken up so it really sticks to the pancakes, I'm going to add in some rice syrup to make it really thick. And then look, trust the process. So for mine, I'm making bear pancakes. So I've got the shape and obviously I'm making it the flavour banana. So the pancakes do actually taste really banana-y. So I'm hoping that the taste equates, you know, helps everything else. But I'm gonna be using chocolate sauce, if I can open it. I'm gonna put it in between and then I'm gonna be doing like decoration. And I've came up with a really good idea of what I could do for the banana. So hopefully dad gives me a good rating. Ooh, this looks yummy. I'm gonna put chocolate sauce in the middle. This is honestly the best pancake I've ever seen. I mean, it is almost a bit crepe. Like, no, what's that thing called? Mia, what's that thing called again? A crepe. No, oh, no, no. Uh, crap it. Crap it. That's it. But it's so fluffy and perfect heart shape. I'm so happy. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, the pancake day is on the 13th and uh, Valentine's Day is on the 14th. So it's like a cross between the two days, which is creative, isn't it? That is actually really creative. Uh oh, I'm sorry. We've got crying going on again. Uh, what's the matter? Yeah. Remember, it's actually really creative what you're doing. I mean, it's just a sad bear. It's like, it's gonna be, it's one of those arty things, because that's a piece of art, it would just like probably be worth loads. Look, now he's crying on both sides. Yeah, it's very like, sad bear. It's Eno Goth bear. Because tonight will be the night. <laughs> <laughs> and to add in some color to balance out all of the gorgeous screen, not Grinch screen, are some cherries here. Now, I thought the cherries really fit in with the Japanese theme because of the cherry blossom in Japan in the springtime, which is one of my bucket list places I want to go to. And I feel like cherry's a bit romantic and valentine -y as well. Mm, she's copied my idea, but hasn't done it very well. But I'm not gonna add on my lovely, beautiful, sweet maple miso dressing. <laughs> that was a marathon to last minute. <laughs> Sienna. Mine's finished. Don't look yet, guys. But I made something special with the banana. So I've decided not to stack mine, but more to do it like lay out in a pile. And I'm actually adding white chocolate for the white and pink theme. And I feel like I want it to fruit as well to make it a bit more healthy, but it's gonna be like, it's gonna be good and like a good balance, I think. Night that I will fall for you. <laughs> Okay, they're all looking very nervous. It is that time. I'm gonna do the taste test. You ready? <laughs> Feeling confident? Yeah. I am. Yes. So here is my Japanese inspired stack of pancakes. These are matcha and sweet miso with cherry. The matcha powder is what gives it the gorgeous green and then a beautiful 
ceremonial boost of energy. And then the sweet miso, which is the ingredient used in Japanese food, is an interesting creative twist. And then the cherries are to remind you of the beautiful cherry blossom trees in spring. Okay. And they're gluten free as well and vegan. This and is a very different combination. Creativity, yeah, off the charts is really wild, but I just don't know if it's going to taste like so, I'll be honest. It, like the sauce is, I don't know. Oh, here we go. It is. Sweet-ish. Um, Does it need more sauce? It's just not stupidly sweet, that's all. I mean, Japanese... It actually tastes quite, like, grown up. Yeah. Mmm. I want it to be respect how, as well. Like, some... Often in a lot of other cultures' cuisines, their sweets are sometimes not that sweet, or there's not yeah. that much of an emphasis on desserts. So it's great how many pancakes you manage to do. Your deep-fried <laughs> technique really paid off there. The flavour though is an acquired taste, for okay. definite. Don't tell us what the outcome is yet though. I think you need to judge all the other ones, then you give us a rating out of 10. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah? Okay, yeah, sounds good. I should probably try a cherry. Okay, so mine, as you probably already know, they're Valentine's themed and they are white chocolate raspberry and they've got the little touches of the marshmallows and the sweets which make it more of like a treat and they're love heart shaped. Yeah, I love the shape of them, that's amazing. They're also really nice fluffy looking pancakes. Yours do look really good, Sienna. I do think that the combination here though is a bit wild, like you've got some sour sweets just chucked on there so I don't know how everything gets tied together. Do you want them to have one of these sour sweets? Uh, okay. Appearance is amazing. It looks really attractive. Flavours, kind of random. Like, it is a lot of different things thrown together. But we do kind of eat with our eyes, don't we? A lot of the enjoyment of the eating experience is with your eyes. Yeah. Well, um, this is It's not like it tastes horrible, it's just the things don't necessarily usually go together. This is meant to be like the sort of thing that you might make to your valentine as like a treat. Your pancakes also are not really sweet. If anything, I actually feel like they taste sweeter. Yeah, mm. that's why I try to add more like sweet toppings. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Number three. So, we have my chocolate and banana bear-shaped pancakes. Um, he is quite sad, but I also wrote dad and banana. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's good. Creativity. Right, we're going to go in for an ear here, okay, guys? I think maybe you should go in for the middle bit. Go in for the middle, okay. Yeah, it's just better representation. Okay, that's where the, the yeah. sandwich element's going on, yeah? Okay. You should have a bit of banana, like, on your spoon. They're very crispy. The pancakes. Like you guys kept mentioning donuts. These do really, they are like a donut. Look at that. They're the sweetest pancake. Because they're banana-y. Mmm. So very hard to make. Like 10 go in the bin for every one that you <laughs> manage to make successful. But they do taste very good. Appearance, I could really see what you were going for there. And feel like it could have been really good, but it kind of ended up being a little bit, you know, like it might be yeah. made by a five-year-old. That's all. Um, yeah. All the flavours go together well. From a creativity standpoint, though, the creativity is the design as opposed to whether you've been adventurous. This is honestly the hardest one ever. It's so hard. Do you want to take the fist one though? I was kind of curious to know which pancakes, like actual pancakes, taste the best. Yeah, which ones taste the best? To you. Mia's. Okay. Oh. Really? Yeah, the pancake, the actual like batter pancake. Okay. Yeah. All oh, right, then which one, one in terms of creativity? Oh man, that's a really hard one. I feel like I have to give it to the matcha ones in terms of creativity. Matcha and yeah. miso. Yeah, right. because th that is just wild. Who makes pancakes with matcha and miso in them? I don't know. <laughs> Usually Mia in these cooking challenges tends to do something really adventurous yeah, like that. Yeah. But Sienna's is going to be the most attractive, isn't it? Sienna's uh, does look really yeah, nice. Yeah, really? so what is it then? Who won overall then? Oh my goodness. So Mia's is best flavour. Georgie's is best creativity. creativity and Sienna's is yeah, the I best agree. appearance. Although I can try to So what's the most important for pancakes? Yeah. Mm. Mm. The mm. fact there's a massive stack of them as well. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. The fact there's a massive stack of them as well and there's a lot of colours going on. Five here, 
Sienna did make five, it's just she didn't put them in a stack. I just like tried a bit towards me and it's really sweet. Oh, this is so difficult. I don't know. I honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, maybe it, it is about the actual pancake. I don't know. No. no, because mine failed. I can't make pancakes. No, but it is about the, the actual pancake, though, rather than the toppings. Uh, like, I've got a good idea, then. If you went to a restaurant and you saw these on a menu board, which one would you go for on pancake day, Darren? Sienna's. <laughs> <laughs> Wait there. I can't wait to try yours, Sienna. I tried. Yours I can't wait to try good. my own. And we're trying yours, Mum. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks really good. Hey, close your eyes, Sienna. My eyes are closed. Hello. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh my god! Those are little Swarovski crystals, and it's like what? roses. Isn't that oh the cutest bear you've ever seen? That is so cute! <laughs> oh, oh wow. wow! That is so pretty! Whoa! That is... I love it! I can't believe I lost! And I made a bear! I do actually really have something from Swarovski for my room and you did make a bear so I feel like you should have it. Oh, no, and it matches the theme of your room! Oh. But mine failed! I feel like you should have it. Really? Yeah, you have it. I feel bad, I'm taking oh, a mystery yes. prize! This is such a good mystery prize! Oh, Sienna, so sweet! Aww, thank you, Sienna. I love you. You can Aww. eat all my pancakes. Well, I guess they're dad's, but <laughs> if you ask them. <laughs>